Cooking with Loco episode 2! Yay! We're still in our outdoor kitchen kasi wala pa kami budget for um, kitchen studio. So if you guys know anyone who... If you guys know anyone who would lend us their beautiful kitchen that's quiet, that would be appreciated. Let me know. So today's ingredient is... Bonito. Alright, this is also known as the skipjack tuna, also known as the katsuo in Japan. You can distinguish it from other tunas by its black stripes right over here. So as you can see, I already gutted the fish out because, you know, I, I needed to preserve the fish. So you have to gut the fish right away. I've been keeping this fish in the cooler for two days now. So before we start cutting this fish, I'd like to show you how I caught the fish. Guys, fish on! I am serious, guys. First fucking drop. <laughs> Uy, malaki yan, fuck! Oh, hindi ko doon makanting, Dark! Hindi ko doon makanting! 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 Oh, Dark! Isang uli lang, ha! Uy! Bola! Hindi, hindi, hindi! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Look at that! Oh, my God! Let's do it, guys. Yes! Yes! And there you have it guys, that was a fun day for me. First time I caught a fish and a jig and my first tuna. So, here's our favorite part. Cutting the fish. I have here a Deba knife. I am prepared today. I also have a Yanagiba knife. This is usually used for uh, cutting sashimi or the flesh of a fish, but for a big ass fish like this, I'm gonna head on with the Deba knife for now. Look at that. Awesome. It's, uh, it's second hand. So how do we systematically cut the fish? So I've already took out the guts. Usually what you do is you just cut off the head first and then take out the guts with it. However, I already did that, so we're gonna go through the fins right over here. You don't really need to do this, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers do it. What they do is they cut this part off first, the, the spine. So what you do here is you just form a line right over here. Okay, got it. Can picky. There you go. That's the spine. Leave that there. You have this. Next, what we have here is a solid armor plating layer right over here. This one. So, what most people do is they cut off this part first so that they can cut the head cleanly. I'm not sure if other tunas have this, but the Bonito has it. See. Slice it up right over here. And then do it on the other side. And there's the head. There you go. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. So I'll probably put this in the freezer first. Maybe I'll grill it on the next day. I don't know, but this guy is going in the cooler for now. Next up, the filleting. So you cut it right over here in the tail side first. Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, first time to cut a tuna. But there you go, that's the first part. Next, we remove this part. Oh my god, shit, I ruined it. <laughs> I ruined the tuna. Well, uh, that's not the best looking tuna, Philly, but I guess not bad for a first try. I'm gonna do better next time. Start off with a spine. This is it. Put this one here first. Switch to the Yanagiba. There are bones right here. So you carefully remove them. Next! Removing the skin. Next, blood vessels right over here. You remove those carefully. And there you have it. A filet or tuna. Look at that. I did it, boys! Ah. So, what I'm gonna do with these parts is... This one I'm gonna give to my neighbors. This one I'm gonna grill it. Alright? Let's keep it there. There you go. Nice! Alright, finally! The best part making sashimi out of this fillet. So again, I'm very sorry to everyone, to especially to those who are working in the kitchen. This is only my third time butchering a fish. If you guys have any suggestions or tips, let me know. I, I, I think my knives are good or sharp enough. I think it's my skills in handling the knife that's the problem. So yeah, again, sorry. But now we move on to the sashimi part. All right, here we go. separating <laughs> oh my god I ruined the tuna so much that it looks like this it breaks down I am so sorry oh well time to plate Okay, so moment of truth. Is it yummy or not? We shall see. Just a bit of wasabi here. And then... Itadakimasu. Oh, wow. Dude! Hey, it's nice. Again, a bit of wasabi right over here. That's not a bit, that's a lot. Keep it in soy sauce. Mm. Fresh tuna bonito. It's good. Karab! Not like those um, bootleg Japanese restaurants who serve it, you know, frozen. This one's good. 
I can't describe it. It, it tastes like maguro, tuna sashimi. That's it. It's chewy. It doesn't have that fishy, you know, super smelly, fishy flavor. Or in other words, it's not malangsa. So despite how it looks, it's good. Man, I could eat this with rice. So I could eat this with rice, with the wasabi. It's good shit. Uh, right, just a bit of wasabi. Shut up, lah, malayo. Lain Lorenzo. I can eat it. Yeah, it's good. It's actually just like the sushi you buy from a. I don't, I don't eat sushi. Yeah, that's right. It's actually this. Ito guys, may kanin sa wrap. So ayan. Get that. And this and then. Mmm! And then, add the rice. Mmm! Sa wrap! Sa na, ito ay nagkumuha na si Lorenzo. Mmm! Kaya na rin siya. Good! Kaya na rin siya. Sa na, all? Well, it's good, man. It's also. It's as good as sashimi can get. Fresh, out of the ocean. No bullshit. Chop. Okay, so. This wouldn't be cooking with guaca if there's no actual cooking. We haven't cooked yet. So, um, we're gonna fast forward, forward to the next day where we grill the other filet. Hey guys, it's been half a year. Is it? It's the last year. Last year. Okay, it was 2019, and it's now February 2020. And uh, remember that fillet? Ito, ito yung fillet, oh. This is the fillet. This is the This is the fillet that I was supposed to grill. And the bonito fillet. So, ano bang gagawin natin dito sa filet na to? We're gonna grill it, Pinoy style, you know, in toyo mixture and then baste it, that all, uh, that kind of thing. However, I'm gonna add my own twist to it. We have here my own mixture. So, pakita mo sa camera. That's a mixture of uh, Japanese soy sauce and uh, yuzu. This one. Ito na yan. That one. So, that's gonna give the kick, the zesty kick to the mixture. I added some mirin and uh, a bit of brown sugar. I'm not sure about the ratio. I just, I just dumped it in there. And then I think All right, so hopefully it's gonna smell yummy. I'm not really sure about the taste, so you know. Okay, we're ready. After an hour of trying to light the charcoals, we are a-okay. Time to put the fish in. Here we go. <laughs> Nice. Insert fake sizzling sound, please. <laughs> Imagine it's sizzling. <laughs> Insert um, fake sizzling vehicle. That's one. I think this is the part where I'm supposed to base the fish. <laughs> We flip the fish every two minutes. Look at that! I forgot to baste this side. Boo boo! Look at that grill mark still. <laughs> then you just keep flipping it until you get the desired... Um, I don't know, what you call it? Just use your instincts. Uh -huh. There you go. And then you baste it again. Now we're gonna cook each side for five minutes for the last time each, and then that's it. It's cooked. Mmm, dude, it's awesome. I'm proud of this sauce. I like the, the smell of the sauce. Man. It's kind of nutty, zesty, and uh, sweet. All right, five minutes has passed on this side. Last one. Yes, we're. Making it extra toasty for the sake of everyone who's gonna eat it. So it's now grilled to perfection. Look at that. Yeah, nice, nice lighting. Nice lighting. Right? See that? It's glazed. 
Alright, time to play it. Look at this. Look at what I did for my plate. Boom! See? Now it looks legit! He has a smiley face. See, calamansi and then you. Here we go. Without the sauce, we're gonna take one out. Tadakimas. Let's see. No, no, no. Sauce, they use you. This one. That's pretty good. It's kicking. No, no, no. 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 Crispy on the outside has the yuzu kick. A bit juicy. Not as juicy as I expected it to be, but it still has the juices, so. Looks good. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> hypocrites after everything, after all the trash talk. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how it tastes. Fine, I'm going to eat it. Hypocrites. I mean, oh, I did say that. Lol, fuck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>